Okay, so boom. So if you sitting at the crib right now and you sitting here and you're scrolling on social media and you just feel like your life is passing you by, right? You don't have a college degree. You didn't try to flip a new person taxes every year since 98. That last business you tried to start ain't giving what it was supposed to have gave. Do me this favor. Stop playing with yourself, okay? Stop procrastinating. Get up and run for Congress. George Santos did twice and he won the second time now george santos is living the american dream because he is god-given proof that you can lie about the election being stolen how much money you make your taxes being out of there how much your business is worth you can lie about what college you went to you can lie about your entire professional resume you can tell people you were the police even though you never spent a day in police training and you can still come get you one of these well what is it a committee assignment after this man lied about everything except the fact that he was lying to the people when he was running for house of representatives in his district and after 15 rounds of the most epic mediocre envelope and squabble in the history of america george still got sworn in as a representative and was assigned to two committees the science space and technology committee and a committee on small business this man told people he worked at goldman sachs and city group the hr department determined that was a lie he also told people that he graduated from Baruch College with a 3.89 GPA, which would have put him at the top 1% of his class. The admissions department determined that was a lie. In fact, this man does not have a college degree at all. This man is on two committees, has access to American Secrets, and he wouldn't even be on fries at McDonald's if they found out he lied on his job application like this. But see, this is why you can't believe most of the stuff you hear and half the stuff you see, because this man really sat up here and told people, oh, I graduated college and I'm leaving with no student loan debt. So you also left without a degree and without ever registering for any classes. So while you sat up here telling people, I picked myself up by my bootstraps, the ones you stole from your roommate, I'm telling y'all right now, they gave out audacity with the mail-in ballots in 2020 because this man also used a fake name for his nonprofit and then come to find out the nonprofit didn't even exist. I don't advocate for violence, but once some animal rights people get on your head, it's a whole nother situation, okay? If we didn't learn nothing else from Michael Vick and Breonna Taylor, it's that sometimes our system of justice cares more about punishing people for how they treat animals than it does the preservation of human life. So if I was George Santos, I will make sure at least some of that money gets to them dogs. But see, this is where the story get deep. So two years ago, George Santos claimed he was only worth 55,000, right? But somehow he had came up on a lick and he was able to donate over $700,000 to his campaign. So of course, a lot of people was like, well, where did bro get this money from, you feel me? But my whole thing is this, maybe he hit a lick on Dogecoin or something because you know, crypto ain't really regulated like that. Congress is busy, okay? Congress like, check this out, we ain't got time for that, okay? We too busy trying to regulate how many kids people have, what kind of clothes women wear in the meetings, what it mean to be a black person when you fill out the census and try to vote in states like Louisiana, how we teach children American history because we don't want the white kids to hate themselves, but we also don't want to put them up on game about the fact that we have been oppressing the indigenous and people of colors for hundreds and hundreds of years, particularly using the art of storytelling politics in the black letter law system. So then peep this, the Washington Post allegedly found out that somebody cousin, sister, baby mama, Tracy is kin to a Russian oligarch. And that that oligarch is already on sanctions here in America. Regardless, foreign nationals are not supposed to be donating money to help people politic and campaign and stuff so they can be a Congress. You're not supposed to do that. That's illegal. At this point, if the Republicans don't figure out what they're going to do about this debt ceiling soon, we might need the homie Santos to start calling in connects and collecting on these bills. He may not be welcome, but one thing about it, he do know how to get his hands on some money.